In the not too distant future, next Sunday AD, there was a guy named Joel, not too different from you or me. He worked at Gizmonic Institute, just another face in a red jumpsuit. He did a good job cleaning up the place, but his boss didn't like him, so they shot him into space. Satellite Love, I'm Joel Robinson. These are my robots. I want you to consider the lowly waffle. Uh, Joel, it's lunchtime, buddy. You know, I'd rather have a manwich or a bologna sandwich. Oh, mm. nonsense, Tom. Anytime's the right time for waffles. Uh, Joel, I think the butter slipped off your stack of waffles, buddy. Uh, are mm -hmm. you feeling okay? Sure. Commercial, Commercial sign in 15 seconds. What are you, what are you making, making there, partner? partner? I'm making waffles and save room magic voice. I made plenty. I'll say. Consider the waffle as a fine and suitable alternative to stuffing our potatoes. What? Because after all, what are waffles but batter? And what's batter but chopped up grain? You know, there's tons of stuff you can do with waffles. You know, take some peanut butter and syrup, make a waffle sandwich, or wrap the hot dog in a waffle and garnish with ketchup. There's tons you can do, or maybe make a Swiss cheese. Three, two, commercial good. Well, I like to put chili on mine for a real south of the border treat. No. And if you're really into it, no. take some waffle batter, mix it with milk, and you've got a waffle shake. But don't tell the kids it's good for them. Or a delicious spinach waffle with tangy ricotta cheese. Joel, the mad scientists are calling. I've got plenty for them, too. But I'll get it. Well, Aunt Jemima, this time you've really stepped off the deep end. Frank. Now, do you shred the Swiss cheese or just slice it really thin? Frank, this time I'm really going to hurt you. I understand. Why don't you go and get this week's invention exchange, all right? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. You've been very kind to me. Frank, you have no clue. Well, Aunt Jemima, our invention exchange this week has to do with meat, Frank. Well, you know, recently I've become a vegetarian, and it worked, it's worked out great, really. Uh, you know, the other day my colon looked up at me and said, Frank, thank you. I said, no, thank you. But now what am I going to do with all the meat I have stored in freezers? I figured, hey, why not bring the meat back to life? That's right. That's why we've invented the meat reanimator. Hook it up, Frank. Clear. It's alive! Alive! My corn-fed Minnesota chicken is alive! You know, I thought this was a good idea, but this is one weird mamma jamma. What do you think, Garrett Utley? Chicken waffles? Oh, you're weird. Which results in creativity. Which mm -hmm. results in my latest invention exchange. It's a very literal interpretation of the old waffle iron. Mm -hmm. Let's say you love traditional waffles, mm -hmm. but you like the classic simplistic styling of the old pancake. Mm -hmm. No problem. Just douse it with a little Mrs. Butterworth spray <laughs> starch, like that. Okay, mm. cover it with a cloth to avoid burns mm -hmm. and iron. Hey, and? Gee, it turns an ordinary waffle into a flat waffle. And clean up some breeze. What do you think, sirs? Ancient Chinese secret, huh? Hmm? Dear God, what have I done? What the heck is going on up there? Uh, hey, Frank, will these work on waffles? Uh, yeah, I think so. Well, Joel, today's experiment is a little piece of slime from Roger Corman called Viking Women in the Sea Serpent. But first, a little lesson in home economics. Here's a waffle for you, Scarecrow. I 
I just like waffles, that's all. Wait. You're in a way, I'd say. Titles by Fredericks of Hollywood. <laughs> Iowa State College, the high school after high school. Shubbies? I was boring until I got my Tony Pern. If I could join the FFA, my life would be complete. I'd till the soil, I'd bale some hay and make wow, some sandwiches. Wow, quite smoke. a hairdo on that gal in the middle. Hay probably can't remember the day or the date. All she remembers is that she was sitting in the study hall. With a loaded gun. Alice was really going to town on her physics assignment. Go, Alice, go! And Freck. Well, he was busy with his regular routine. Mm -hmm. It was just the usual sort of day. I think I'll get a tattoo. Or was it? She was eating cubes of mescaline There's jello. There's for an assembly. Like Pavlov's dogs, they salivate at the sound of a bell. <laughs> this one was for the girls only. Oh. Nothing too unusual about that. The Chippendales were in town. <laughs> Kay found a seat. Her favorite, right next to the aisle. In case she barfs, she's got a tender tummy. Oh, that one. Your period and mine, mm -hmm. a lecture. Hmm? 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 Hello, uh, am I on? Is this thing on? You want to look at that, Helen? Today, I'd like to tell you about several girls I know very well. And why I'm being fired. Not I took several ago, heavy blows to the cheeks with a lead pipe. Ooh. Just as you are, what they would do after completing high school. <laughs> Let's start with Evelyn, who went on to college where she took a course in home economics. Now she's a tea Hello, room manager changed. and thousands oh. of people who eat out are her daily customers. You might see her talking to the hostess and never guess she's really the boss. Shut up, Grandma. You're lucky to have a job. Behind the scene, she's the one who makes the final check and adds that extra touch. Yeah. Of salmonella. Ooh, wow. Kay thought she would like that sort of work. Kay was wrong. She could see herself at the center of a world made up of large ovens and, and large white haired ladies. by professional cooks. Gee, what would mom think of a grocery list like this? She'd laugh. For anyone with training in institution <laughs> management, though, it's just like planning the family Yes, that's dinner. right. I said a full case of vodka. Then one day, Kay fiddled with accounts payable, took a long drive into the country, and got cabinet at the Bates Motel. this is Joanne. In high school, she always helped decorate for the parties. She liked it. She still decorates. For bozo. She gets good pay now for doing it. An applied art major in home economics helped her develop this ability. <laughs> Kay couldn't resist daydreaming herself into this kind of job. Folks would look to her to help them make a wise choice. <laughs> she would be asked to go out on appointments, to help people plan lovelier homes. Mm. Hmm. Ah, the swatches for the ponchos I ordered. The speaker told of other girls she knew. I'm real huge. girls in real jobs. Good jobs, interesting jobs, hmm. well paid too. And everyone had taken her training in home economics. Including Chad. Some had specialized in foods and nutrition, others in education, hmm. in yeah, textiles no. and clothing, household equipment. Hey, slow down! Child development, Rock our film. applied oh, art, God. institution oh. management, <laughs> Save us. journalism. Home economics is all of this and more too. Damn. For instance, Carol, who is now Mrs. Bill Johnson, took a general home economics course. I don't want my Not wife working. Give me a beer. Professional <laughs> employment, but one which fitted her for that very important career of being Mrs. Johnson. Boo! Kay's home would be like this. A dungeon. Hmm. Now, what the hell, hell is that? Many times she was glad that her college training had prepared her so well for home life. How much did that cost? Well, bring it back. You must let me dress you. <laughs> Can I have a feel? Many times she didn't even realize that she was using some of the knowledge she had gained, and that her knowledge meant so much to her family. As That's well her husband as Jerry herself. with his new car. Escape! Escape! It wasn't hard for Alice to return to reality. She just went cold but turkey. As for Kay. Well, making a dream come true often depends on a very little thing.
window pane. Mm -hmm. Hmm, let's see. Day after day, mm, she had passed by that little book. The bell jar. Now oh, here it, it is. Ghetto, held the key ghetto freaks. To a there it is. Future. Of course, there were things she would have to do: Don't apply for us, admission, bro. study the courses, and drinking. Oh yes. What would mom and dad say? Who knows? They only speak German. There was only one way to find out: ask them. Okay. This was important. She realized that now, even before they said anything. You She's could tell loaded. that mom and dad knew that it was important too. College for K would mean sacrifices for Human mom and sacrifices. Dad. Would it be worth the sacrifice? She consulted Robert McNamara. And Anne Rand. Do it, sis! Dear Dean Johnson, I couldn't really begin so this to... this was the important day in Kay's life. And it was late at night when she finally recopied the letter for I the quit her at time. the touch of your... She got a real thrill out of dropping that letter in the box. <laughs> <laughs> now be cool, be cool, come on, be cool. Just, oh, it's good. Now let's get out of here. Ooh. It's here already! Oh, shoot, I mailed it to myself! Hmm. Waiting for a reply was harder. Everybody it's from Ed McMahon. It says I already may be a winner. She had months to go, but she just couldn't wait to get out of that stifling home life. Dear, why are you packing your father's things? So this is college. So this is Pine Later, City Votech. We'll homey look. Now it was a bit bewildering. Mm. Wonder where the tennis courts are. Where would her room be? Who would be her friends? Who would be her blood enemies? Wonder if she'd ever know her way around. What secret here. societies would she join? Wonder what her would she smoke would thin black cigarettes and reject the triune god? Well, here's the door mother, affectionately known as Horseface. You lost the draw. You'll be rooming with the Ice Queen. At first, it looks bare and not very friendly. Who, her roommate? Ooh. Hmm, smells like high-grade weed in here. Well, we'll make a loft out of some railroad ties under the bed, a special export light in the window, and a... But with new curtains and bedspread, it doesn't take long to give it a homey feeling and a bit of college at. I've got a feeling Mom majored in home economics at Iowa State. Before you know it, it's time for the folks to leave. <clears throat> in all her dreams about phone. college, Kay had never included the moment when Dad and Mom said goodbye, when she would be... On her own. Yeah, I'll see you in four years. Don't call. A friend always loved that. Thank God there was no physical contact. Mm -hmm. Mom, Dad, no, no. Well, well, just leave then. Forget you. I never loved you. Oh. <laughs> Poor kid. Now she'll race down to the Jean-Luc Godard Festival at the Campus Theater. I'm so alone, I don't know what to do. I look at you and I go out of focus. Why does she have a picture of John Carradine in her nightstand? Mm. Oh, well, that's mine. Oh, will you ever accept my Marxist yeah, ways? Arrived just when she did. Well, hi, they how you like doing? We're gonna have a great time. What we're gonna be pals. The usual things. <laughs> and while they were talking, two of the ripest tomatoes in town strolled in. Hi, uh, you get a bong? <laughs> Four girls, Kay and Jean, Helen and Louise. The group. For the next four years, they will see a lot of each other. <laughs> Come on, they just met. <laughs> Most of their experiences will be shared with each other. Kegs will be tapped, men will be used. They're strangely drawn to this that mystic first fountain. stroll with its first impressions. Thank goodness for head and shoulders. They stopped at the same places. Three coins and a fountain. They looked at the same scenes. They did the same things that many had done before. There Here was a is college sameness. with its new friendships, its old traditions. By the end of freshman week, they'd begun to feel that this college was their very own. And they started by taking over the administration building. Off the pigs, off the pigs. How do you solve a problem like a college girl? Early October, Headed for an 8 o'clock class in Homeck Hall. Tragedy struck. Just a lone gunman. The the Here's a young Judy Chicago. Hey. It helped to build up a knowledge of the beauty Don't of the Don't sit down. 
move. Surprising how everyone can make such interesting original designs. While Kay struggles with basic motor skills. Mm. And this study of design and color wasn't all theory. Jean and Helen learned to apply it in their class on costume design and selection. Is that a real poncho or a Sears poncho? Watch those huskies. All the classes seem to fit together. I love this one. Even Watch the this. physics class was what a girl would What's like. Come in here. I need it you. It was about <laughs> physics in the home. This course helps you to understand just what makes things run. Then in household equipment, you could study the practical side. The use of an appliance. Uh, being treated uh, like an appliance. In turn, there were courses in foods and nutrition where you also learned the why. This is phlegm. As well as the how. This is mucus. Hey, it's the Woodstock of the 50s. Victor Bones on next. Play whip and post. Woo! Delta Saturday Wait. afternoon. Football time. I'm a Q-tip. What are you? You were there with all the spirit you had for your high school team look, and maybe look, a little Look, look at my crotch! Look, look, look at my crotch! Look at my crotch! Look at my crotch! Look, look, look at my crotch! Look, look, look at my crotch! Look, look, look at my crotch! And afterwards, you met the game. And you really got slammed and apologized all day Monday. Hey, there's Neil Cassidy. I didn't know he went to college. Only for chance. Hiya, Tank. That's off to Ray, Later, the whimsical lampshade. <laughs> after such an occasion, the girls got together for their usual gab session. For a time, they talked of the events of the day. But then Kay came up with that all-important question. Kay. How do Pop-Tarts work? What are you going to major in, Helen? Oh, you know me. Best cook to come out of Foods 204. I'm going to take foods and nutrition. Really, I am. Yeah, and I'm gonna I marry want to be a dietitian. Yeah, right. You're going to be a shorter to cook for truckers in two years. Wish I could make up my mind that easy. What are you going to take, Jean? I'm going to take Bob for Kessel everything he's got. <laughs> I like to work with fabrics, beautiful clothes. Hey, look, and it's Lou Costello and drag. In department stores. I'd like to go along with you. But I don't know yet whether I want to work for a household appliance company. Or, or whether they're going with my artwork. Oh, these are the kind of problems you want to have. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to teach. Because I can't do. Kay went to chat with her advisor. She learned about you a world what? of opportunities, things she'd never thought of before. Teaching. Listen to the flowers. Yes, it was they a big profession. Sweet secrets. High school love teaching. Me, love me. Nursery school work for those who like very small children. And for medium-sized kids, go to a middle school. Teaching with farm do. families. Would teaching be her career? Or would it be the business world with its glamorous commercial jobs? And low-paying temp jobs. Mm -hmm. Would it be the public service field, perhaps a hospital dietitian? Mm -hmm. Or research with its look to the future? Academia. Though. Yes, there would be all sorts of interesting huh? careers and best Hey, of look, all, it's Prince. You made a home of your own. <laughs> That's his real badness when he was still a chubby little white kid. See him up there? In purple? Oh, mm-hmm. That's a reach. I'm sorry. College That's a reach. College is a timeless mm -hmm. period. One year passes into another very quickly. Soon you die. It's good to be back. The At the beginning of it's your nice junior though. year, things seem pretty much the same. But this is the year... The National Guardsmen were on campus. ...in your chosen field. Helen, learning to be a hospital dietitian, must be able to plan and serve inviting <coughs> meals. Plenty of butter. Pile it on. Plan good them well enough food. to fit a doctor's orders and serve them attractively oh, to... Oh, please don't eat the daisies. Appetite. Mm, square egg. She'll also have the problem of feeding large numbers of people. And her fat brother-in-law. That calls for quantity cookery, so you'll find her in classes in institution management. For quality cookery, use the Makery Bakery. Mm. Louise, who has her eye on a commercial career in household equipment, is rapidly becoming a technician in her own field. Wiring bombs. The technical comparisons which she is making now are completely off to base. First-hand advice on the selection of home appliances. Her knowledge Ooh. of efficient operation will be passed along. She could never be an engineer. Don't make me laugh. Huh. Now cough. Jean was just as busy in textiles and clothing. Oh, a very attractive awning. The world of fabrics and of fashions will be hers. Here she designs pants for Chuckles the Clown. 
Perhaps you will be designing the clothing you see pictured in fashion magazines. Oh, I don't know. Perhaps you'll be the person who has thought up the patterns you will buy at the store. Mm, it's possible. Perhaps she will show you how you can create beautiful clothes for yourself. Or help you choose them at the store. Oh, hi, Opal. Jane may even find another use for her talents by combining her knowledge of art and textiles. She makes tar she heroin. She may follow a career in textile designing. Let's face it, Jane would do anything for a buck. Mm -hmm. The days are filled with other interesting classes, too. You would expect to find Kay with her interest in teaching. I'm getting lightheaded. Keep class. going. But Jean is there, too, to study children's clothing requirements. Well, yes. But more than that, Ouch. home economics means much what? more than a career. We have to be subjugated to men? It's a study of everything that makes up a home, including those who live there. The girls learn a lot from the children. Are the kids school. learning anything? How habits and attitudes learned at this age are so important ah, in later it's life. It's too tight. Oh, they it's learn too how tight. much depends on it's getting calamari. along with mm. others. For after all, we live in a world where people are more important than things. Oh, I don't know. Yes, college is a rich it says variety piggy on the of experiences. Wall. Where? Over there. You tell mom and dad about the little events. One little boy is just darling. I really like that class. And keep the important stuff to yourself. And the big ones, too. Oh. Tonight is the big prom. I'm wearing Everyone will die! I will dump pig's blood on Carrie! You know, she's gonna look like an unmade bed in that dress. Each good time that you had, mingled with the memories of other good times. And makes a delicious gravy. You'll never forget them. They were the glittering threads woven through the varied pattern of college life. Ooh, Here, a little sample of each of her victims. There's Bob, and Carl, and Steve. Being a senior wasn't much different from being a junior. Student teaching was in line for Kay. But Kay was out of line with student teaching. And Jean was busier than ever in her advanced courses in textiles and clothing. She hasn't left this room in years. Helen was deep in studies on food buymanship. Getting her Grocery money shopping. worth, that is. Oh. One of the many things she'll be doing next year in her well, let's job. Let's see, 30 grams to an ounce and... Hey, is this raw or refined? And Sugar. Louise, wouldn't you know she'd be in a household equipment laboratory? No, don't give up. Home Economics, starring Ephraim Zimbalist Jr. What is Home Economics? Why, well, you think they would have told us by now. Yeah. Is it the technical knowledge of the equipment in a home? I don't think so. Or the understanding of how to create beautiful clothes mm -hmm. and no, more attractive uh, No, homes? that's not it. Is it the skill to prepare an attractive, nourishing meal? Maybe. Or the ability to teach others these many things? Is it for all time, this feeling yes, of joy? Home Economics is all these and more, too. Hmm. To put it another way, each girl has hey, been preparing Abby Road. for two careers. Boy, you're going to carry that one. One, her chosen specialty. The other is a career in homemaking. Here we come, walking, walking down, down the street. street. And so, as a special part of their training, the senior girls actually there are share only six the seniors. Of First of all, the girls met their advisor and decided how they were going to take turns at managing all the household tasks. Here, Carol Bly explains her principles. This was no make-believe situation. With eight hungry persons to feed, Jean would have to draw on the knowledge she gained in basic courses in foods and in equipment. She had to steal from every grocery store in town. Who's part of her hazing? As for planning an attractive meal... And Forget a pretty it. Day, that should be easy for a girl with special talent in color and design. But no, not for this woman. Kay, too, would draw on her knowledge of household equipment and Kay the textiles the to take care of her turn in the laundry. Oh, no, you put the laundry in the composting toilet. <coughs> <coughs> Louise, for a few days, would have the most envied task in the house. Sooner or later, everything and anything you had learned in your home economics courses would prove useful. Oh, that's a good one. And then she said, they're soaking in it. <laughs> Sweetheart, Life in the home management house is very homey. Somehow you wish it would never end. And so 
some of the happenings you will never forget. <laughs> Don't open the box. The five pound party that Beth had to announce. Five pound day. party? She had a big breakfast, I didn't she? So. My goodness. It's a wonderful world when you're married, when you have a family. The days roll by, and even before school is out, you have a new topic of conversation. Hmm. Getting your first job through the placement office. Meeting with Helen Gurley Brown. Well, yes, Kay, the teacher placement office tells me they're getting requests every day. Jean, I think this job in a She's department a store will be very interesting to you. Huzzah! The letter has just come in telling us that you've been accepted for your hospital internship. You'll be emptying bedpans soon. Yes, Bingo. Louise will be happy to accept the position. Hey, keep up. Hmm? Graduation. Hot and saucy, Texas style. <laughs> mm. Mm. Mom and Dad were there, of course. They didn't say much, but you knew they were pleased. That's this key offer. They Dad made early. some remark about he sure had earned his diploma. <laughs> kind of Dad just doesn't that. get it. <laughs> Jean and Louise were leaving at once for their jobs in the city. So you all drove down to the train to see them off. And to reenact the last scene from Anna Karenina. As you stood there on the platform wishing each other the very best of good fortune. You know you didn't mean somehow it. Somehow the talk got around to that very Speaking of wishing meeting. farewell, let's roll. And oh, then you sensed that fun. this was the end of one chapter in your life. Oh, the the editor's so wrote and spiced up a bit. Uh, I'm coming, I'm coming. Is that a chapter waffle? you wouldn't have missed. Take it easy, hold it up, hold it up. What I've done was reprogram the robots to love uh, waffles as much as I do. And can you see? And what we're going to do is name some important new uses for waffles during this segment. Okay, who's got one? Uh, uh, easy to read waffles with enlarged squares for the flavor impaired. Okay. Oh, that's good. Waffles. Can I eat them now? Buckwheat buck uh, waffles make an excellent hammy uh, for cleaning uh, your car. Good. Dr. Schultz waffle pan. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Well, anyway, now, careful. These are just for demonstration. It would be uh, too bad if the robots got too into it. Oh, well, I've always been a breakfast man myself. Uh, you know me. Crow, we should really be working on the assignment. Yes. But look, oh. these look so good. What a taste teaser. Oh, oh you I think just told me that Jemima's getting fat. Please put a waffle in Gypsy's hand. Take it oh, easy you now. You. It would be too bad if uh, you... Uh, Robots were uh, unable to complete your task because you were uh, too uh, in love with this big, juicy uh, stack of yummy nummies. Crow, crow, get a grip! Gypsy, don't you see what he's trying to do? Snap out of it! Come on! Remember the waffle ideas! Waffle dress shield! Waffle desk organizers! Come on, work the steps with me! Hollywood oh, squares, waffle, fall in the block! Wally Cox in the secret square! Waffles like sweet first you are! Oh, 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 John, I tried, buddy. Oh, oh, That's okay, Tom. Can you just give me one? Okay, acoustic tiles. Go ahead, Tom. Oh, oh, here comes Tom oh, Zero. How about a uh, Greek waffle called a falafel? Hey, oh, you man. just funny. She's trying to get the uh, I'm trying to get the syrup out of you. Hey, look, all my Vikings. Oh. Hey, that's my old high school yearbook. Eric, small cigars. You know, when people have leather-bound books, they never read them. Nope. The saga of Viking women and their voyage to the waters of the Grey Suit Serpent is brought to you by a grant from the Mobile Corporation. And Dalton Trumbo as Eric the Red. Dalton? Oh. Aww. With the June Kenny dancers. Yay. Plus Wilfred Hydewhite as the uncredited cameo appearance. <laughs> Bravo. Wild the Taylor, wasn't she in Sweet Mud Honey? <laughs> oh, and here's a couple of guys from Hardy Norwegian stock. <laughs> from a story by the writer's block. Oh look, the great Monroe P. Askins. Mm. All the snooties are on this page. Mm -hmm. 
Kind of sounds like a Mazzola corn oil commercial. Corn oh, goodness. A Japanese art director, no! Easy boy. Okay. Albert Glasser! Albert Glasser! Paging Albert Glasser! Jack mm. Rabin foams at the mouth a lot. <laughs> oh. I like him. Mm. Mm. Corman, the barbarian. Corman, the employer. Mm-hmm. <laughs> In the days when the world was young, Frodo. And the gods had not yet abandoned the race of men. Gildor and Strider took in the Frodo land to Rivendell. The great and stalwart people. Shame, I know that. Smoking rich, when their own rocky shores tobacco. and forbidding mountains could no longer yield them a livelihood, they bade farewell to their women. Bad? And ventured fearlessly into the unknown. But like most men, they got lost After or refused waiting for to their ask for directions. Mm. three years, a band of brave women gathered to decide whether they should embark on a search for their men. They cast their votes in typical Viking fashion. I vote, we go! We stay. I'll stay, I'm in. (laughs) Yes. Ooh, I hope they start wrestling. Here's Martina. Watch out for that forehand. Oh, be careful of that rotator cuff. The gods have been offended. It's an omen of disaster. It's a calamity. That's enough. I'm ashamed of the women of Stanyol. This was your proposal to see oh, not ours. I think I found my favorite. Do you wish to die unloved? Hmm. Connie Selica. We cannot go against our fate. The gods are angry. The gods are angry only at those who cower in fear. Vikings make their own fate. And their own applesauce. Oh, Vikings always fade women in the second Stanyol. half. How long has it been since our men sailed across the sea? Uh, two perms ago. How long ago. have waited on the cold cliffs? For a sight of their returning sail. In vain. Let's put it this way. You're starting to look pretty good to me. Is it too much to ask the maidens of Stanyol to help their people? Is that so wrong? If you need an omen. Let's see, omen. Omen, where'd I put it? Uh... Look! Oh, yeah. It is balloon! <laughs> it's a cloud. Oh, it looks like a bunny. They need us. As we need them. Like a fish needs a bicycle. Now we do lawn darts. Tira, you vote to go. Hmm? Yet you have no lover overseas. Am I likely to find one here? Can I vote again? I, I want to vote again. Wouldn't a show of hands be easier? Mm. Mm. You must decide for yourself, little sister. Little sister, don't you do what your big sister done. Triple 19, that's the game. Wow. To please her sister, Asmil will destroy us all. Mm. Her sister's kind of spooky, isn't she? Maybe mm. not. See who's casting the deciding spear. It's Kate Bush. Oh. The love. How do you think our dark priestess will vote? How do you handle a hungry She'll vote man? Against her. She hates Desir and wants her man. Oh, I'm a southpaw. Never trust a lefty. It's Olivia the Javelin. She to go. She's really on our side. Hey, I'm well, she's not coming in my car. Did you try to do that? Thank you, Inger. For making us laugh again. I want no thanks. The decision's made. Come, there's work to be done. Jeepers, I guess we know who turns the screws. Yikes. <laughs> Hey, Todd, nice button collection. Aren't you glad she voted to go? <laughs> yes, but why did she do it? Oh, Todd, you're always so suspicious. He must be four I'm glad ass. she's with mm-hmm. us. Looks like a waffle. Desir, I'm going with you. No, Todd. There's no need for you to take the risk. Anyway, you never passed the physical. I spoke brave words. That's but nice. I know we face great danger. Mm. Great danger? Well, it's a strange day when Inga the Dark gave the cause of disease. What's that supposed to mean? She had a good idea. On paper, oh, anyway. Oh, come, my dear. Don't tell me you do anything to help Desir. I think I understand. 
If at the end of the voyage, Vedric holds out his arms and his flaxen-haired beauty is not there to enfold in them, perhaps the chief will look elsewhere for comfort. Was that an allegory or an extended metaphor? That's maybe your thoughts, Doctor. It's wearing a lady time nothing. So the Vikings gave us the underwire. <laughs> Gonna see Miss Liza. Ah. Hey, I just had this dream. Oh, uh -huh. You know, these new prefab Viking ships are great. After having won the spirit jug, the bulletin board competition, and the skit night, the plucky girls now moved into the float competition. Just like Iwo Jima. <sighs> yeah. Ship the Andrea Dor Doria. 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 Break out the hot dish. I got bars. What about the christening? Oh. Uh, if this were reality, they'd still be waiting for each other to get ready. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. Oh. Uh, this is going well so far. <laughs> <laughs> run, Bon Ryan, run! You don't have an oar in the water, if you know what I mean. There, go steady the cow! Give me your arm. Come here. Come here. Come on, get in, dummy. You all right? To see, this is hopeless. We can't handle this boat with just an oar. We've got to. Well, no sense swimming 20 feet back to get it. <laughs> hey, I've got a wild idea. Let's put on a show. Oh, well, they got that dragon in Tijuana. I forgot that. Nice. Hmm. Albert Glasser at his best. <coughs> Say, look at the prow on that yeah, steamer. Hey. Let's climb aboard. <laughs> it's not the size of the boat, it's the motion of the ocean. Oh. Mm -hmm. Now you'll be warm, little stupid. What would I do without you? Well, you could wear a coat. Go to sleep. Do you really think we'll ever find the men? <laughs> of course we will, Asma. Well, that's what these cruises are for, dear. Then Vedric will ask you to marry him. Yes, he will. What is it like to to love a man as you love Vedric? No, no, I no, no, I try. Wait, wait. What it really means. Someday you'll know. He'll give me a ring of betrothal. Hmm. And claim me forever as his own. As a tax deduction. I'm a bear. I'm a big old bear. You know, this is getting weird, you guys. There's a silhouette of theater seats in front of that movie. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Doing here. And you're wearing my things. What are you doing here? Starving. Have you got any extra food? Yes. Don't tell the others I'm here, please. If we're still too close to shore, they might decide to take me back. Todd, hey, he's looking up her dress. Oh. Hi. How you doing? You know, I hate men, don't you? Isn't Todd just a jerk? Something bothering you, Tira? Oh, I was just uh, fixing these robes. Oh, I thought I heard you talking to yourself. <laughs> I guess I do that sometimes. Well, see that it stops. Just wanted another fur. Well, why don't you take this one? These are still wet from the spray. I told you to hang off further. How long have you been a Viking? <laughs> All clear. Hey, got any rye crisps? I'm starved. She gives me the creeps. You and me both. Where's the food? Oh, can I get you a beer, too? Is that all you men think Help about? Yourself. It's Todd Knotts as the Reluctant oh, Viking. Tastes good. Oh, Todd, why did you stow away? Mm -hmm. Somebody has to protect you, women. It's ridiculous not to have a man along on a dangerous voyage. Or at least a patron of the arts, anyhow. It's ridiculous not to have a man. Tara? Mm -hmm. This kipper stinks. When I saw you, I thought it was over for me. Mm. Lucky I recognized you in time. I've had my dagger in your throat. Ooh. I didn't mean that. It's just that I... I didn't yeah. think you'd protect me from anger the way that you did. You've always seemed so forbidding that I've almost been afraid to talk to you. Kind of like Mom. There's nothing to be afraid of. Come on. Get in. Get some sleep. 
Night. Tuck me in and call me a bad boy, please. Oh, oh I can't breathe. Sleep I can't, well. I can't find a bear's living in these things. Gee. Go to sleep, my sweet time. Hey, wait a minute. The women of Greenpeace. Yes. It's a monster. Oh, it's a sea serpent. No, we're well. Save us. Save us. <laughs> <laughs> Women, you think they never Who let you out of your skin? They haven't, though, Tom. Not everyone is as well traveled as you. Or as well. Oh, Get never these mind. swords polished. Stowaways must work their passage. Nevertheless, someday you'll be glad I came along. Why must they laugh at my mighty sword? <laughs> Two years before the mast. I'm voguing. Hmm. It's a big ship. Nobody will see me doing this. We think the joke will be on Sonya. <laughs> <laughs> the yard. The line must have slipped. This couldn't have slipped. I made it fast myself. That's why it did slip. All right. Never mind. Let's just get the sail back. Look, there's a sail at Penny's. Yeah. I am hot. I turned myself on. This looks like a job for Superman. Wait, you take the belt off, but leaves those heavy chains. That'll sink her to the bottom for sure. What head first? Person overboard! Diana Nyad is attempting to swim the channel again. Yeah. Oh, look, it says SS Minnow on it. <laughs> Flipper, no! It's okay, just do what Harvey McKay says. Swim with the sharks. That's a book reference, isn't it? Right. That's not a shark, it's a rock lobster. It's a rock reference, isn't it? Mm hmm. We're gonna get a bigger babe, right? It's a movie reference. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Look there. Oh no, it's the rinse cycle. It can't be. I always thought it was just a sailor's tale. It's true. Let's get out of here. Man the oars. Or one of the oars, as the case may be. We're drifting into it. What? Make it to Inchon. That's what I thought he said. And the brochure said, Old oh, World Charm. Pooey. Her job is to look ravaged. Ishmael. Todd Ishmael. <laughs> this uh, is actually pretty extravagant for Corman. Yeah, true. I'm your boyfriend now. <laughs> oh, look at their hair. You can tell the wind's really blowing. Mm -hmm. No! It can sense fear, so stay calm. Yes, <laughs> it Ah, oh, must have hit the gas tank. Oh, no. Ah, criminy, what a crappy day. Well, at least it's not raining, eh? Light the shoebox and throw it in the toilet. Mm. At 11.15, the old cook came on deck and said, Women, it's been good to know you. <laughs> Don't fly. <laughs> By the shores of Gichigumi, by the shining big sea waters. Meanwhile, in from here to eternity. I feel gritty. I'll never drink vodka from a watermelon again. I don't know where we are, but I got a feeling we're near the Kennedy compound. Oh great, it's a private beach. Faced again. Tough surfers. Mind if we dance with your dates? Thanks, Todd. Good effort. <laughs> Pathetic. Oh, I think he means to follow him. 
Whipping that Foley guy is just like way off script, isn't he? How good they've washed up in Monument Valley. Todd, now get back in line. Quit clowning. <laughs> you little scamp. The story is right out of Homer. And Jethro? Mm. I hate these dude ranchers. You? Mm. Are you afraid? I'm too numb to be afraid. Get captured often? You live around here? Yes, all they can do is kill me or make a slave of me. Either one's fine by me. I'd like to see him try. Kirk Douglas in the Viking. Get up! Uh, which one? One of us. Like, I'm almost sure this place bites. These are the guys that gave us... Mongolian stir fry. Mm -hmm. Skunk. They can be handled. Yeah. Only men. Oh, Gloria Steinem. <laughs> hmm. Looks like the pop feels like a sneaker. Yeah. Yonder lies the castle of my father. Okay, well, yonder lies the map painting in the castle of my father. Ow! Those were just for fun. Those are for me. I was way off script on those. <laughs> I love these walking scenes, and speaking of walking, gang. Yep. Hey, forget that guy. He's not in that movie. They can do such good things with walking scenes, though. Waffles. You okay? I just did a really nutty thing with Campot about waffles. Are they meeting their mothers already? Hmm. He's got a sweaty back. Well, he's been sitting in the saddle all day. Hey. You're gonna stay at the Red Roof Inn whether you like it or not. Oh no, they're being forced to attend the Renaissance Festival. Would you look at the prices in here just for a continental breakfast? This is a very impressive building for these heathens to have built. Maybe they didn't. What do you mean? They're renting. Vikings built this, not those savages. Mm. Vikings have never been in this land. We'd have heard it sung in the sagas. Only if they came back. To brill cream. Mm. Hello, I'm the concierge. Oh, sorry about the costume. Carmen's poodle died, and he doesn't like to waste anything. I am Inspector Clouseau de Certe. I want to see Ted. You never quite got over that breakup of Sonny and Cher. Mm -hmm. Hello, girls. No. Yes. You, what's the fifth general order? Hmm. All of all Oh dear, dear, split ends. Clip those and try a hot oil treatment, dear. You, well, never mind. Whoa. Get your filthy hands off of her, you big slobbering dog. Oh, Todd, be careful of these animals. If you only understood a civilized tongue, I'd tell you some things, you big slob. And what would you tell me? I would say that you're actually a nice slob but for a uh, language. Uh, a few words I learned from some of your countrymen. Were they men of Stanyold? Did their craft bear the dragon shield? I really don't know. And I don't really care. As happens to all craft that enter our waters, they were swallowed by the vortex, hmm. destroyed by the great beast. Hmm. 
Oh, God, your hair's Some were saved. A handful. Who? Who was saved? What were their names? Uh, let's see. A guy named Jeff and Murray. Say. Oh, and a really fun guy named Chopper. Ah, send you my son. Ah. Freddie Mercury? The Hans have sounded the Bohan twice already. When are you coming? Soon. Soon, Senor. Soon, Senor. Gee, you're a queer old duck. But as duck. you see, we have visitors. Are these the new slaves? Guests. Guests, my boy. They'll ride with us on the boar hunt. Boar hunt? But they're women. Don't hate me because I'm beautiful. Women. I know someone who can use a little hostility counseling. Viking women, my boy. They're not like other women. They make great waffles. They have great sports. Mm -hmm. Grrr. Oh, Tar, look at his arm. That's Vedrick's bracelet. Visitors don't come to our shores very often. In the off-season. We'd be happy to have your company on our boar hunt. But perhaps you're too tired from your long journey. Vikings are never tired. We rule. When do we start? Immediately. If not sooner. We accept with pleasure. Do oh. I bring you pleasure? <laughs> I'll order the horses. Of course it's. Zarko. Nice going, Todd, over there. I like oh, that. Why? In a name. It'll be much easier to find out what's going on inside that cave with them busy at the hunt. Unleash the dogs! Both of them! Bring the pooper scooper! And coming around the clubhouse, turn its apartment house with plenty of room and girdle in the stretch. Bird poop on the track. And coming up the rear is Beetle Bomb. Hey, it's the dogs from Teenage Caveman. Hmm. It's Bronco Todd to the rescue. Hi-o. Oh, how appropriate. A boar in a Corman film. <laughs> It's Arnold! Run, Arnold! Mm. Looks like Z Mr. Ziffle got drunk and uh, painted Arnold. Ow! Oh. <laughs> oh, my back. Daddy, I don't want to hunt. I want to be a poet, a singer, a dancer, an actor. Oh, oh it's on my butt. You want fame? Well, fame costs. And here's where you start paying. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that little piggy went to market. Oh. Stayed home, obviously. Oh, I'm throwing my shorts. Oh. Help me, please. I'm being attacked by a hand sandwich. Come on, squeal like Ned Beatty. Oh, look at this. Corman got a shot, catered the crew, and got a costume for a teenage caveman all in one bit. A girl? Ooh. A girl had to save a grim old warrior? <laughs> My father will never forgive me. Would you rather have been killed by the boar? Besides, what's so terrible about a girl <laughs> being a good hunter? But you don't understand. I'm a prince. <laughs> now you can be a live prince. No. According to Grimoire Law, I'll be banished from my country in complete disgrace. Why didn't you mind your own business? It's Carol Channing. Oh, that's a lovely pantsuit you're wearing. All right. Here. You killed the boar with that spear. Oh, wait. What about the spear that's in the boar? Continuity. Sinja, where did you get this bracelet? From the yellowhead Grand captive. Fest? Why? Where is he? Is he alive? Are there more than one? Someone's coming. Leave me alone. I'll harm you. This is how Prince repays his gratitude. <laughs> All right. Come to my room later and I'll tell you as much as I can. Oh. But don't get caught or we'll both be in trouble. My, my father for, forbids me to talk to people. Thanks, Pam. You're real pip. <laughs> Give it up for my posse. Send you. Are you all right? I'm fine, father. I'm fabulous. What did you expect? Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. Sent you. 
You killed the boar. We? Oui, I did do that thing. My son is a mighty hunter. To the victor. Three cheers for Captain Spaulding. Oh, oh, oh. oh, it's a Theta Chi party. Ruby Tunes. Hey, look, centuries. Where's Tony Martin? It's got to be around here somewhere. Hmm. Here's a Dora Duncan tonight at the Viking Lodge. Sounds like the Rocky Show music. Do, 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 You know, I really envy women how they can dance by themselves or with mm -hmm. each other at a party and no one gives it a second thought, you know? Mm -hmm. I have to spend half the night working up the courage to ask a girl to dance, and then if she rejects me, I have to make that shameful walk back across the room. And then I get so depressed. Joel, I just... Joel, Joel, get a grip. Oh. Have a waffle or something, for crying out loud. Uh, can I get that extra dressing I ordered? Hey, my food! Hey, I'm trying to eat over here. Your feet smell like Fritos. He's got a great act. Really knows how to work a table. <laughs> now dessert. <laughs> Thanks. Good night. Enjoy the buffet. <clears throat> Carry out. Hey, come on over here. Try a little of my big tank and a beer. Hey, come on. Come on. Try a potato skin. They're great. You have decaf, right? Uh, you know what the scene's making me hungry for? Uh, me too. Waffles, yep, me too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, gotta go. Mm, excuse me. Mm -hmm. I would like to test the strength of the great Viking women. Me too. I think it is a fraud. Here, girl. Set this down. Isn't that the pot calling the kettle black? You can't. We're even now. You're on your own. <laughs> I am Sprite of the forest, friend to Oberon. Uh, Merle Oberon, actually. <laughs> it's Blaze versus Weenie Man on American Gladiators. It's actually over the top with Sly Stallone. <laughs> okay, this one's for waffles. Aren't you glad you lose dial? Don't you wish everybody did? Ow, 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 you're harming me! I don't believe it. Enough! You were adopted. There is no need for any contest with these women. They are our slaves. To do with as we please. Oh, can we discuss art and literature with them? You, young man, are going on a Robert Bly weekend. Oh, it must be Thanksgiving. Oh, no, Jehovah's Witnesses. Oh. Hey, the floor, sh floor show's starting. Ooh. Great choreography. He likes to hop. Whee! How about a little fire, Scarecrow? This is Todd recreating the role of Biff from West Side Story. Thank you very much. Escape to the fitting room! Oh, he's the woman. <sighs> Joel, hmm. uh, what does this have anything to do with waffles? What? I don't get it. Beats me. Wiggle oh. my ego! Oh, that's what has to do with waffles. Yeah. Ooh! Ow. Gob on him! Dribble spit in his face! Here's dessert, Krumkaka. Well, little man, you seem to have a taste for fighting. I'll show you some Vikings who have lost that desire. Like Tarkenton, he's kind of old. And Rashad, he's got a broadcasting career now. Oh, it looks like they're on a class field trip. You know, I used to love class field trips, you know. When I was a kid, you know, one time I got sick and I couldn't go. The biggest day of school of the year and I couldn't go. They went up to the Gardner Soft Twist Bread Factory and then they toured uh, Joel, Oscar Joel, Mar have a waffle, will you? Shake oh, up. Something Come chewy. On. 
shame of me. You okay? Ah, that's just because I can. <laughs> nice guard, real young guy there. Oh, I love these walking scenes. Oh, we missed the dead concert. We try to amuse our guests, but they're not always grateful for our efforts. Fortunately, that was not one of your people. He was with the Donner Party, the Richard Donner Party, threw a bash for the lethal weapon cast. <laughs> it... Oh, it's sculpture class, look. And they're doing light studies there. Studio arts. Oh, Patrick. Brazier, are you real? Brazier? Hmm? Only a dream. Mary, Mary, You're don't you know me? Well, they're I'm slaves, here. but they do have to shave, look. Oh, my love. Yeoman. Yeoman? Slave. Slave? Oh, great, Dada. it's an Ava reunion. I was wondering. Hey, how about a little sugar for the Todd monster, hmm? <laughs> Come on. I'm raven-haired and bitter. <laughs> but, darling, what have they done to you? Doesn't matter. Lots. You're here now. Oh, geez, he's a nice, well-groomed young man. Mm -hmm. Quite touching, <laughs> isn't it? Separate them! Colors in one pile and whites in the other. Cold water wash. All right, come on. Conjugal visit's over. Come on with me. Hey, wait! Come on, She's wait. just a friend. We talk on the phone How and stuff. I smell a rat, a big Viking rat. So you scorn me, hmm? yet your softness in the arms of a slave. He's not a slave. He's a really nice guy. Bedrick is a warrior, hmm? leader of the Stanyold. The leader lives the given me by the great servant of the Vortex are mine. Remember that. Mine. Take your hands off her. You damn dirty ape. It's a pity many do not live long. The men, that is. But the women, now they're quite different. They live as long as their beauty pleases me. Oh. Enough time wasted. Separate them. Back to work. Come on, people. Break's over. You're on the clock. No! 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 No, 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 no. I belong with the men too. I wonder how you the living room, you see. Oh, it's only four fifty a month plus damage deposit. No, oh, it's uncommon Viking women and others. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow we'll talk further. But don't feel neglected. Already my men are fighting amongst themselves for the prizes. Me. We'll never submit to savages. Never. Once you've known a grim old warrior, you'll never go back to the other we'll kind. Forget Ooh. the pale Viking slave. But for tonight, we're going to let you rest, so you'll be worthy mates for my men. Oh, oh, and there's some cold chicken and cold beer in the fridge. Oh, and some seafood salad from Biotis. Eat that up; it's going to spoil. I like the tall, gangly one myself. Mm -hmm. Our men were forced to yield. What can we do? we better think of something. I'd rather die than let one of those men touch me. Speak for yourself. Poor Otar. Shelly Fabray? He went to such lengths to prove himself a man. We're not beaten yet. We know that our men are alive. And somehow we'll be together again. Don't know where, don't we know We must when. find a way to get to them and help free them. But how? I don't know. But we've got to find a way. Let's put on a show. That window. Hey. Oh, Desir, nobody can get through there. I can get through. Let me try. Yeah, okay, Marianne. Try. Oh, come on. Delta Burke could fit through that window. Oh, got it. Oh, my pelvis is locked. And since that day, they saved us from the vortex. Oh, we haven't even seen the light of the sun. Hmm. You tried to escape? No, the Grimalds captured us when we were exhausted from the battle with the Great Serpent. Hmm. When we regained our strength, we tried to escape, but... The sun was in our uh, eyes. For every attempt, Stark put two of our number to the sword. And he mercilessly shaved them. Two chosen by lot. A man won't risk the life of his companion just to save his own. Hmm. We must try again. 
We can't leave our women in the hands of those beasts. We must escape somehow. Gilligan! Gilligan! Shh, whisper. Do you think she'll make it? She will. Careful. Oh, nothing. <laughs> we weren't doing anything. Oh, it's the three witches from uh, Macbeth. Hey, give me a little of that. <laughs> Drama presents the Vorm School Viking Girls. <laughs> it's Buddy Edson. Hey, what's going on in here? Forget this action. I'm going outside to check out the teenage caveman set. Well, you swing your partner, swing your fist, pull her hair, and break her wrist. Promenade. Well, did uh, anybody get the key in any of that? You all right? I'm all right. Man, what do we have to do to get fed We're around here? Wrestle a Is fat she... hag? Ooh. Hmm? Uh, could you make a little bit more noise? Were there any other guards? I didn't see any. Later. Later. Uh, uh. Oh, look, they're going to play croquet. Let's go. Take these clown hammers and follow me. Hmm? I'll take your spear. You don't mind, do you? Thank you. Not a chest hair among them. Hmm. On her. Hello, Cleveland. Rock and roll. Hey, let's stop by Janet Todd's and she, she wants to go out, okay? Mm -hmm. And it's another great Roger Corman walking scene. Let me scout ahead. Yeah, I'm trying to impress my girl. Uh, go ahead, see if you can hit the bell. Hey, does anybody got a shirt? Boys in the hood. Ah! Come on, girls! Ooh. Ah! Oh, you know what these exciting Roger Corman action scenes make me hungry for? Mm, let me guess, Belgium? No, no, let me say a crow. Waffles! Oh, Joe, you ruined it for me. I wanted to waffles, say waffles. Waffles, 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 waffles,
I still have to stay up and work on my novel. Hmm. Is this my reward for uh, warning you of their plans? No, but we do have some lovely parting gifts. Tell her about it, Johnny. You're not keeping your promise. You said I could stay up and watch Love American Style. You really want to kill? No, I really want to direct, actually. I... She's very desirable. No more than I, surely. What, she finds herself more desirable? What gives? You are indeed beautiful. And you're really hairy. But Take you don't deceive off. me. It's the pale-skinned giant you want. Mr. Clean? Larry Bird? True. I want him. Hmm. But, uh... And he poured in a storm. Only for a whim. A crazy madcap whirlwind spree. But he won't have you. He loves to sear. I like to pan fry. When she's gone, he'll forget. Time okay. for the Jerry Lucas, Harry Lorraine memory system. You're a strange woman, Dark One. Oh, you're wearing a shag rug and you think she's strange? I'm useful to you, Great Stark. I can be useful again. Coochie coo. Let me go to it. <laughs> Check me for nits. It would be great sport. <laughs> to see him tempted. By the fruit of another. Tell you what, let's go get a rug doctor and a couple of bottles of wine. What do you say? Ooh. Class ring, does this mean we're going steady? I'm going to go tell the pep squad. Senior girl's gonna be cheesed. Roger, this is God. Pick up the pace. Well, why don't they just fire this guy? Crying out loud. Uh. Yeah. Oh, well, looks okay. Backstage pass, access all areas, okay. He's with the band. You know, I think she way over accessorizes. Mm -hmm. Now, ah, here's another great walking scene. Yeah. Yep, pretty much. Oh, it's Rain and Man. Well, he looks okay. This one's kind of small. Oh, look at this one. He's perfect. Football practice! dangerous for you to be here. Perhaps, but it doesn't matter. I would dare more for you. What? Huh? Patrick, I, I can would. help you. We can go back home. Just James Arnaz. No, no, Peter Graves. Oh, yeah. And the others? It would be too difficult. Best to forget them. He's kind of stoic for a Swede, isn't he? They're my people. I couldn't leave without them. Vedric, you're chief of the Stonewall. I know. But you can't help your people unless you escape. We, we can start a new life. In Argentina. Hmm? We, together. Come with me, Vedric. By dawn, we'll be far, far away hmm? and safe. Inger, I remember you as a child. I liked you better then. Always you were headstrong and impatient, unless you had your own way. Especially if you drank Coke in the morning. True. Mm -hmm. But I've grown in many ways. <laughs> Insert comment here. <laughs> I'm a woman now, Ventura. I know. Beautiful woman. I have much to offer a man. Hey, you're preaching to the converted, honey. That's true. And someday I hope you will choose a worthy warrior for you. Or a happy warrior. I've already chosen one. My love belongs to another. You know that. Patrick, mm -hmm. I'm offering you your My life. name is Herschel. Without Brazier, there is no life. Though. Without a Brazier? No, no, no. Smart Vikings, Foolish Choices, today on Geraldo. Brave words. 
Are you easy to say now. Oh. We'll see what they will be tomorrow. Well, I gotta get back to the dorm before curfew. Come on, you guys. Waffles? Sure. My fall, I ate too much. I'm beginning to think the world would be a better place without waffles. No, waffles? Uh, who are you? Why, I'm Willie the Waffle, the wonderful, whimsical, wise-cracking waffle. <laughs> Can I ask you one question? Uh, sure. Who the hell are you to decide who lives and who dies? Did you know that the nation's brunch industry employs over 500,000 people, most of them named Chad? Hi, welcome to JoJo Waffle Berries. Our waffle special today is Gamey Force Waffle with Jack Sauce. We also have... Sorry, Chad, we have to lay you off. No waffles. Oh, Little League crap. Baseball would also be impossible without waffles. <clears throat> Mom, Little League practice is in an hour. Can I have some waffles? Sorry, son, no waffles. <laughs> Nice read there, Joel. That was really... Uh, most oh. importantly, do you think communism in the Soviet Union would ever have been dismantled if it weren't for waffles? Come on, what a... Hey, hey, the coup is a success. All we do now is all know Boris Yeltsin and the crowd in Red Square are eating waffles. We'll never crush them now. That's right. The Russian people, maple syrup stain on Gorbachev's forehead spells one thing. Freedom. <laughs> Oh, come on, you guys. Please, I was just being ironic. You guys love waffles so much. Here, have some of mine. I got plenty. Uh, that's okay. I'm, I'm kind of full. I'm not really into waffles. Come on, Tom. We got a party to go to. No waffles. Oh, it's such a spaz. No bro. place to sit. No movie. Cut it out. Hey, sorry. Do you mind turning down those torches? My electric bill's sky high. Kill them. I guess Kill them both. Didn't go well, did it? I want to see them die. You are one freaky chick. Grant me this great star. You'll never regret it. It's like buying a good wool coat. How about a little hair of the dog that bit you? Ruff. He You'll does know how to put on the dog, one. doesn't he? And afterwards, I'll let you prove your gratitude. You can send me one of those cute little Hallmark cards. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like they're about to become a Swedish casserole. A hot dish, all right. Hmm. Oh, and it's festival seating. I hate that. I'm curious to test the strength of this noble love. I'm curious as to why you dress like Scooby-Doo. You should Keep have yourself? the honor of lighting the holy sacrificial fire to appease hmm? the storm god. Nothing. As for the lovers themselves, our grim old gods are compassionate and demand no more than one sacrifice. Which of you will it be? Let it be me. No! No, take me! One of you will come out of the fiery choice alive. Whoever begs for life first will go unharmed. Sounds fair. The other one mm -hmm. dies. Pretty much. Senya, light the fire. Senya? Dad, I'm so hot I don't need a match. Nice dance belt. Thanks, Bernice. I'm the god of hellfire! <laughs> Holy madam. I'll never confide in you again. As long as you're gonna die, can I have your earrings? Say ya! Well, she did pull a thorn from my paw. No, oh, what the heck? Oh, it's the opening from Mission Impossible. Oh. Do, do, do. Shh. Hey, it's ELO. There's still time. The first to plead for life will go unharmed. Okay, I ah, love you, Lynn. Oh, please, let me live. No, take me. Release her. No, no. My life alone would be meaningless. More meaningless. Free him. I will stay. Hmm. Perhaps I should shave. 
Mother's ear, I beg you, speak to her. Save yourself. Without you, death is welcome, my beloved. What did she say? Speak! I didn't catch that. Gain your freedom! I'll understand, I swear it! Mm -hmm. I couldn't. He's all choked up. Even though my tongue be torn from its roots. Oh, no, gross! Yeah. Couple of Swedish meatballs coming right up. Oh, an Imogene Coco reunion. Oh, it's horrible. Todd makes his move. Mm. Ooh. If you love me, speak, Frederick, please. Woo, 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 woo. Now sit. Ah, camera. No, no, that's no. it. Oh, well, you know, crepes, we need the rain, you know. Good for the crops. Not goodbye. Oh, for we the same. We'll be together forever in Valhalla. Yeah, whatever. Ah, ah, I'm Spunky, the warrior boy. Ha, who's that? Ooh. And the Todd monster is one hyper kid. He hurts others. Mm -hmm. Too much sugar. Yep. Oh, oh, Todd gets his butt whipped every time. You'd think he'd learn. Okay, class, let's review Corman's technique once again. Okay, here's a shot of the two kids. Shot of the creepy girl. Mm -hmm. There's a shot of Herschel. Mm -hmm. uh, shot of Abby Dalton. Uh -huh. Hi, Abby. And another shot of the creepy girl. And here's a shot with the kid and the creepy girl. It's the creepy girl. Oh, creepy girl. It's a sin to let them die. You change rapidly, Dark One. Well, that's my prerogative. Oh, once the sacrificial fires have been lighted, the gods demand their victim. You see? Already the storm god licks his lips at the coming feast. The storm god sits quietly with his napkin in his lap. Nom, nom, nom. Your gods are false. Well, your eyelashes are false. I want a close-up, damn it. You're no god to me, mister. Hey, it's the Land of Lakes girl. You know, if you fall, oh. Listen to thy priestess. He's been led astray by the spirit of the flesh. Grant me the serenity Show to accept Show these infidels the... thy power. Oh, say, she's got a real knack for this kind of thing. Gods of the Vikings, protect your children in their hour of need. Is that us? Yeah, pretty much. Unleash thy thunderbolt. She's Connie Lord. Edison. You know, isn't that just it? Every time you try to have a barbecue, it's either raining or your neighbor's mowing the lawn. Yeah, yeah. Or... And here it comes. Cast upon these savage unbelievers the curse of the Stanyol. <laughs> Make them have bad haircuts, too. Let's call it a day, Carl. The tournament official is coming out. He's checking the court conditions, and the match is called. Good thing I re-shingled my hat. Come here, you nasty old guard. I'll harm you. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, the pain, the pain. Mm. Ah, cripes. I'm going to need a new son now. Send you. Snedney? My son. Excellent. Hail Dorothy, the Wicked Witch is dead. Hail Dorothy. Hey, uh, could you guys be pallbearers? Kill them! Kill all of them! Their lives for the life of my son! She really got under your skin, didn't she, Mr. Kaplan? Come on, movie hurry! Reference. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No waffles, though. Ow! That Ow. stings. Ooh! Good move. Okay. Give me those moon boots. They're mine. Give them back. Ah. Keep up. Oh. Wow! The classic Manix disarm well, yeah. with a solo karate chop. Quickly, 
Kill me and be done with it. I hate the smell of wet wool. I have no desire yeah. to kill you, Stark. That would require emotion. We only wish to leave in peace. Or peace. Dress like Cher again. They killed HR Puff and stuff. No. Another classic walking scene, this time uphill. My son. I love my dead gay you son. The far land alone. It's Doug Henning's world of illusion. The sword. Would someone like to examine this sword? It's an ordinary sword, perfectly normal in every way. Uh, remember to poke a few holes in him so he doesn't explode. Ow! The woman. Hmm? I thought you brought the woman. I thought you brought her. Oh, oh, here she is. Oh, wait a minute, who's that? I don't remember her. Oh, no. Oh, wait. Hey. Oh, that's it. I'm oh. marching to take back the night this year. Hey, you put the wrong one in the fire. You're supposed to put the dead one in there. Well, son, you've got a hot chick waiting for you in the afterlife. <laughs> hot chick. That's it. That's pretty lame. No, I'm not a hot chick. Your death will be avenged. On your tomb, I swear. Tomb? He was just cremated. Oh, there are bars and punch in the fellowship hall. Come on, team gang. Woo. Oh no, dog man's gonna pull a feral on them. Let's go form the new Christy minstrels. Yep, teenage caveman set for I think sure. This is the way to the sea. But I'm not sure. The word is the law, and the law oh, here, is the word. Thank you, Frank Maybe I can see it again. Wait here for me. You're going to trust Whipping Boy? I'm laughing. Why are they barking like dogs? Climb every mountain! <laughs> oh, come on. That's the exact tree from Teenage the Caveman. The law is the word, and the word oh, shut is... up. Oh, oh, there are dogs. Look. Mighty Jack is dropping. He's springy. That's the way to the sea. They're following our trail with dogs. Quickly. Not too quickly, though. Corman still needs to pad the film out. Hey, it's the Doberman gang. <laughs> the dog on his gang. They're barking. Everybody's barking. They're barking for crying out loud. Jeez. Oh, he's got dog tags on. Great. They really know how to put on the dog, don't they? I just don't understand cross country. She's lagging behind. What Serena got up her sleeve? One of the Rosie Ruiz. What? She's leaving a trail of jewelry. Dogs can't smell jewelry. Unless they're Sammy Davis's dog. Oh. Now to change into my Batgirl costume. See all the nipples on that dog? Mm. Count them. Mm. Longer boats are coming to win us. If we're strong enough to man it. Or a woman it. Uh, we'll have to use Todd as a sea anchor. It's Where's Inga, the wacky new comedy this fall on ABC. Oh, you dropped your bracelet, lady. Oh. Ooh. Bad dog, bad. No, fluffy, puff. No, bad dog. Oh, they licked her to death. Uh, I know. She gave her life to save us. 
All the evil things I've said about her. Take him what back. What do you say about a 21-year-old girl who died? She loved Mozart. Shall they all, all the Vikings, pay for the life of my son? D. Snyder. Mount! Quickly, there's no time to lose. And no time to figure out how we saw all that. Hey, gang, let's hit the beach and rent some canoes. No, um, I knew this would end up looking like a beach party movie. Yep. Tonight on Music Through the Night, the Ride'em Cowboy Suite by Albert Glasser. Now this time, don't lose the rudder. <laughs> Todd, you spoil everything. You're the Gilligan of this trip. Whoa, look at him. He's fast. Good one, Todd. Oh, it's just Deborah Carr and Burt Lancaster. Hold me. Love me. Hold on. Betty, quit splashing. Hey, ow. I'm Todd the Baptist. <laughs> I hate you, I hate you, I hate you. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> sorry about your boss. Was he important to you? Action! Action! Wait, we can't go in the water yet. We ate less than an hour ago. Hmm. Now, who knows the Hawaii 5 0 song? Yummy, yummy, a digger, digger, boy, fun. Oh, you catch him, a big, big flavor. Oceans of energy. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, oh, hey, oh. <laughs> They'll never catch up. They're two sound stages away. Come on, get in, dummy. You're the bravest of all the Vikings. Oh, Todd's the littlest Viking. Lay your weight into it. And 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 the film get it off the screen. Hurry, 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 hurry! All oh, off the screen. Ah! Votech. Votech. Do you want to make more money? Sure, we all do. Thank you, Sally. There's still time to avoid it. Don't rock the boat. Don't rock the boat. Let us take stock of men to hell with us. The wet head is dead. <laughs> ah, forget it. I don't like white meat. Too white, too black. Palm olive, you're swimming in it. May four look kindly on our souls. What are you, Gregory Peck, all of a sudden? Well, I'm glad we're not headed back towards work. Look at all the traffic going the other way. Oh, Bob Clampett cartoon. <laughs> I believe the term is up a creek without a paddle. Uh-oh. Oh, you kids quit splashing in the tub. Boy, is that fakey. Yeah. Neat. I've had it with you kids. I'm dead. Good night. May God bless. Mm -hmm. I cannot stay. I must be going. Mm -hmm. Hate to eat and run. <laughs> oh, it's the Princeton Sculling team. You know, this home economics film really took a weird turn somewhere along the line. Sure did. Kiss Me by the Mad Painting. 
No, 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 no. He's got hair now. Mm hmm? Time to breed some asteroids. Hmm. We'll make some great tennis players someday. The end. No now. more movie. Waffles? Oh, yeah. waffles. I love waffles. Yay! For how light you are, you melt in my mouth. And E is for A. Baby, put them all together with the how do you do? Holy waffles, we love. Turn me up on bagel, please. Waffles, we love. Top bite off with runny cheese. Waffles, we love. Chili waffles should be fine. Waffles, we love. Wash me down with Aunt Jemima. Waffles, we love. Yeah, let's face it, sticky fingers. Waffles are nothing more than a vehicle for butter and syrup. <laughs> what? They Just are so not. Hey, you watch your mouth around waffles. <laughs> ah, I got you. <laughs> now, Frank, I want you to set this up so they get a high voltage shock every time someone says waffle. <laughs> what? Has someone been saying waffles a lot? <laughs> You don't understand. I'm a prince. <laughs>